So some voice is saying, why not try him here? I suspect that's something which our next guest will say as well. He's called Fahed Ansari. He's a human rights lawyer, friend of Baba Ahmed's family. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What does the family think, think, think about this? Well, um, obviously the family is uh, very disappointed with the ruling. Um, but moreover, our position has always been, um, why has this even gone to Strasbourg? This is a case which should have been prosecuted. We're talking about Barbara well, Medair. Should have been prosecuted in the UK. Why do you say that? Well, Barbara, apart from the fact that he's a British citizen, yeah. the alleged crime is said to have been taking place in this country. Well, you've, and you've, all the evidence seized from against him, all the evidence against him was seized in this country. But you've seen what the CPS has. Uh, this is the Crown Prosecution Service, mm -hmm. um, who say, we made it clear to Mr Ahmed solicitors last November that we saw only a small number of documents gathered as evidence which was insufficient for a prosecution here. And they go on to say, this amounted to only a small fraction of the criminality alleged against Bama Ahmed by the US. Um, they say they've been to court and they, to seek Mr. the extradition, um, and the courts have extensively found that, yes, it is right to send him to the US to face the accusations, accusations there. Okay. I mean, you know, that's a clear enough. You, you're, you are a lawyer, aren't you? Yes, I am. And, uh, well, you understand if, the if, case. If you, give, if you give me time to come back with two points about that, because the CPS have uh, um, left out uh, or omitted a very important factor. The reason they only saw part of the evidence was because the police seized that evidence, all of it, and sent it to the US before the CPS could actually take a view upon it. Now... In the, in the CPS for eight years have been telling us there's insufficient evidence to charge him with a crime in this country, yet only in November did they finally admit we've never actually seen all the evidence because it was sent to the Americans well, before we could yeah, consider but, I mean, it. But, but he's allegedly played a part in organising a bombing of a US embassy in East Africa, so naturally no, he's enough. Not. No, he's not. That's a completely wrong information. You're thinking of the wrong person. That's Khaled al Fawaz. Get your facts straight, yes, well, Peter. Well, so I mean, we can... what I'm reading no, is no, the no, two men you're... allegedly played a part. And I mean... that's Khaled Fawaz and Adil Bari. Your facts are wrong. Your facts are wrong. All day on Radio 5, you guys have been peddling disinformation to your, your audience. Barbara is accused of running a website with a server which is based in the U.S. for a period of a few months. That's the accusation. All the allegations are set to well, taken in this if country. That's the accusation it's nothing and, to do with bombings. It, it's nothing to do with murder. These are p lies which have been peddled by Lord Carlyle and others on your radio Well, there's only one way to sort this out, isn't it? That's to, rather than to well, fight, why to just you go read the there. Indictment? Well, yeah. Why don't you read the indictment? Well, all I'm your, reading is the note which is in front of me, and as you say, if, if indeed it's Lord... If, it, if, someone, if someone is wanted for, for theft, you can't just say, oh, well, he's wanted for rape. You cannot mix up the charges. Get your facts straight. Well, Barbara days, Ahmed was arrested on the 5th of August 2004 on charges of providing material support terrorism, providing illegal support to the Taliban, Taliban money laundering and conspiring to kill people. Where's the bombing of the US embassy? Hmm? Where is the bombing of the US embassy? Well, I don't know, but conspiring well, to kill people then certainly you, you sounds... Lied. Didn't well, you lie? You in, in, in what? All right, you then you're your his listeners. lawyer. Tell me where he where the charge relates to and well, when he's charged with conspiring go, to kill well, people. Well, there was a very similar case three years ago by Scott Baker who did the extradition review for the government. And he ruled that because all the... It was a, involved a website as well. And he said because the website was hosted in the US, but all the, the action on that website took place in the UK, then that those defendants should be tried in the UK. Now, three years later, we're having an exact same identical fact pattern and you're saying extradite them. So there's clearly a, a, a double standard here. Well, Why three right, years later the Court of Appeal say... The, the only way to be, the for me to be, uh, you know, you're a lawyer and if you tell me that they, he's not charged with that, I have to accept it. I can only say well, that's you can what read I... read the indictment for yourself. I think you... Well, you're I can producer, only read the, the, the material which is in front of... I just, I just read you what he was charged with. I mean, yeah. the, so I where mean did you, where he was charged... So where did you get the embassy from? You know, well, where did you get conspiring to kill people? I mean, you know, no, he I was... didn't say conspiring to kill people. You said it. Yeah, I'm so, all <laughs> You're right. The one he back was arrested on charges including conspiring to kill people. Yes. Is that what's that in front on of August, from the indictment? On August two thousand and four. Is that is that from the indictment? And yeah, an affidavit. And then we go on. To, well, we can go around and around in circles like this. We can, the, but I just want to make sure that you get the clear factor because all day he's been mixed up with Abu Hamza, Khalid, who are the others. Yeah, but the two are put together cases. in these charges. No, no, there's six distinct cases. You just because the European Court ruled on one aspect, that is the prisons in America, but each of their cases are completely distinct. Bob Rahman is not Abu Hamza. He's not Khalid al Fawaz. They're different people. They're different cases. Well, get your facts I, right. 
I can only I can only go your, on, on what it said of me and what it said. Mm. What well, it maybe says. You need to get your producers. Well, and, I mean, trained. you know, if, if, who am I to believe? This this comes from, for instance, that you know, this is a piece of wire copy I'm reading, talking about what he was charged well, with I, I, on the fifth of I August. Would check, I would check the qualifications of the person sent well, to the Was he was he charged was he charged with anything on the fifth of August in two thousand and four? He was charged with running this website, which was allegedly raising funds and raising support for fighters in Chechnya and Afghanistan during the nineteen nineties. And it says here providing illegal well. when round and round we go. I can only tell you what it again, once again, you tell me that this is not the charge. If it is not the charge and he is not guilty, then why not just go out there and sort it out? Well, you're missing the point. Why should he? Why not go to China? Why, why not go to Russia? He, is, he was... Well, I the, just the told you that the, the, C, the, C, but when you, the CPS have considered this, courts have considered no, it. No, the CPS hasn't. The CPS has well, admitted it, they so did not consider So they're lying all, as well. No, they said they haven't considered all the evidence, which is why we want a full public inquiry into this. Let's not, let's not make any mistake. This, this is the same, um, you know, this is the same government. What, they, what the CPS says is the entirety of the evidence was never subject to review in this country as it formed part of the case built by the US and was held there. That's okay. what they say. I think what you need to do is ask the CPS, have you reviewed all the well, evidence I'm I received from this house? Well, I can tell you about the fact that they haven't reviewed all the evidence because the police have admitted we sent it all to the Americans without giving it to the CPS. OK, so your feeling is he shouldn't go to the US because there was no, he did nothing against US law, yeah? My feeling is that he commit, he's allowed to commit a crime in this country. All the evidence was seized in this country. Where there's been a complete error of due process here by sending it to the American, to a foreign jurisdiction. We're outsourcing our British justice. Are we, do we have not have a, a proper criminal justice system? We have successfully prosecuted people for writing poetry, for selling books, for operating websites. Yet in this particular case, because we can only assume that because they assaulted him brutally when they arrested him, they wanted to rid him off their hands, that they actually want him extradited now to the US. Fahad Ansari, thank you. It's 17 minutes past four.